Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson with Teens Run DC. Today's Lunch Club will be about mindfulness through coloring. Coloring books have become very popular over the last few years, reminding us of the need for simple activities to help us step back from the day-to-day -day bombardment of media and technology. I've heard some people say that spending time coloring a design is just the kind of mindless activity they need at the end of the day and that coloring books are a good distraction from the constant commotion in the household. But I'd like you to think about using this coloring book in a somewhat different way. Rather than coloring as a mindless distraction, I'd like you to be mindful while you're coloring. Mindful coloring can be a very powerful type of meditation, which has a surprising number of short and long-term psychological benefits. Mindfulness involves bringing your attention to what is happening in the present moment, being aware of both your internal experiences as well as what you experience in the world around you. As you observe your internal and external experiences, you will try not to judge them as good or bad and you will try not to react to them. Just be aware and present in the moment. Does this, sim does this sound simple? It actually might be a little harder than you think, but I assure you it is well worth the effort. Many psychological studies have shown that there are measurable health benefits when you practice mindfulness on a regular basis. These include boosting the immune system, improving memory and attention skills, fostering compassion, and overcoming things like anxiety and depression. So here's what you should do. As you can see, I'm coloring right now, and I'm being mindful. So the things that I did, step by step, include setting aside 5 to 15 minutes to practice mindful coloring. Find a time and place where you will not be interrupted. Gather your materials to do your coloring and sit comfortably at a table. You may want to set a timer for 5 to 15 minutes. You should try and continue your mindful practice until the alarm goes off. Choose any design you like and begin coloring wherever you like. You may have a coloring book or you may want to draw your design and color that in. As you color, start paying attention to your breathing. You will probably find that your breathing is becoming slower and deeper, but you don't have to try and relax. In fact, you don't have to try to do anything. Just pay attention to the design, to your choice of colors, and the process of coloring. While you're coloring, be aware of your inner and outer experiences without reacting to them. For example, if you start to think about something that upset you during the day, just be mindful of the feeling without reacting to it. Let your feelings come and go without really thinking about them. Similarly, if you hear music or a noise or feel a breeze or smell something cooking, just observe these experiences without reacting to them. The essence of mindful meditation is just to be present in the moment. Mindful coloring is just one way to introduce you to the concept of mindfulness. Once you have learned the essence of mindful meditation, you can bring the skill into all areas of your life. You can practice mindful eating and mindful walking or any other activity where you want to develop a greater sense of being alive by being present in the moment. If you're using mindfulness to address emotional problems, you should consider consulting a mental health professional who can help you integrate this practice into a comprehensive treatment plan. And I hope you enjoyed this coloring session and I'll see you next time.